Ecuador. It is a nation of almost 17 million folk that sits right on the equator. Now, if you actually visit Ecuador, you can actually stand with one foot on the northern hemisphere and another foot on the southern hemisphere. It is also the place Charles Darwin visited in 1835 and based his theory of evolution after visiting the Galapagos Islands. Now, here in New England, there is a thriving Ecuadorian community. As a matter of fact, in Milford, Massachusetts is where you'll find the second largest Ecuadorian community in the east next to Newark, New Jersey. Who knew, right? And for the past 13 years, the Association of Ecuadorians in New England, AE, AENI, which is a registered nonprofit comprised of a very diverse mix of people, has been working in assisting Ecuadorian children in need. Over the last decade alone, they have donated over $500,000 worth of medical equipment, scholarships, and financial aid to benefit underprivileged children in Ecuador. This, their 13th annual gala fundraiser, will be held at the Marriott in Burlington, and it will be on Saturday, June 9th. Mark it on your calendars. It is a great fun night. And to tell us more about the community and the event, we've invited AENI board member Edward Crespo, Jr. Welcome to Urban Update. I call you Eddie. Good morning, Alberto. Thank you for you, inviting me. You call me, me Albert Tico. Of, of course. <laughs> of course. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks for the Good. invite. Yep. So Ecuador, uh, lovely nation. I've been there. You've been there. Sure. You're actually part of your childhood there. Sure. Yes. Um, yes. And for those who don't know, what, what are you, some of the stuff you talk about Ecuador as a country? Well, Ecuador is an amazing uh, small country, geographically you know, speaking. But however, uh, it's a very biodiverse uh, country, uh, a country that provides many of the products that we enjoy today, like shrimp and wonderful flowers and bananas uh, so the and but the best thing about Ecuador is its people really they're just fun-loving uh, caring people who like uh, and diverse. Foreigners. it's one of the most diverse right oh absolutely yes yeah. yeah. you know so we have the highland region we have the uh, coastal region in that small little country you also have the Galapagos Islands like you just mentioned and you also have the uh, Amazonian region as well yeah. so in, in one small country you have four Echo climate. Yeah, exactly. And, and that is pretty amazing. Yep. So um, here in Massachusetts, there is a, a thriving Ecuadorian community. Yes. Uh, they're not as large as, let's say, the Puerto Rican or the Dominican or even the Colombian or South American. But over the years, they've done some amazing work, especially with this organization. Yes, absolutely. So we are a small community, but I believe that we are a, a thriving community. We're growing in uh, both in the private and public sector. Um, and uh, the organization, AENI, is a, a nonprofit that's been now for 13 years is providing amazing uh, educational and medical supplies to children in Ecuador, especially the ones in need. Uh, so it's been a really a great process for us and one that's very fulfilling. Yeah, and the group that puts it together, it's all volunteers, and I know it's headed many years and still is by the Consul General of Ecuador, Beatriz Almeida de Stein. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Beatriz uh, um, is the heart of the organization. She and a dedicated small group of Ecuadorians 13 years ago felt a need and felt a uh, passion towards saying, hey, you know, we have an abundance here. We're so blessed to live here in this country. You know, let's not forget the homeland. And who do we help out? The most vulnerable, which are the Ecuadorian children. Yeah. And, and speaking of that, and I've been to the gala um, many times, it's a really diverse group of, of, of folks. So it's, it's not just Ecuadorians. There's That's a right. lot of folks from a lot of different countries. That's uh, right. Uh, Americans who have a love affair with Ecuador. I didn't know so many um, Americans love to travel to Ecuador. Well, I, I'm not sure if you know this, Albertico, but the uh, Ecuador, actually, there's a city in Ecuador Ecuador that has the highest concentration of U.S. retirees, international U.S. international retirees. Ex Expatriates. In Cuenca, expats. Uh, that's, that's really a great why, because of its climate, because of its people, because of the type of lifestyle that it can offer you. So yes, the gala is, uh, uh, is basically made up of a diverse uh, section of our community, and we have a lot of great folks that are arriving. It, it is an amazing event. I want to put up the flyer, because I'm sure folks right now are saying, hey, I want to go. Sure. I want to be interested. Sure. It's not a high ticket. It's only a hundred dollars correct um, per person and uh, it will be at the Marriott Burlington Hotel June 9th which is, is that a Saturday it is and, and it's a great event with live music uh, silent auction uh, you know dancing please bring your dancing shoes that's probably the only requirement um, and you'll be taken care of uh, by everyone that's awesome yeah that's awesome over the years um, what what are some of the basic needs you've sent down I, I, I kind of mentioned a little bit but you know I think it's 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 amazing what we've been able to do uh, but more amazing has been how these children have inspired us so so essentially, we go through a rigorous process uh, defining uh, nonprofits in the country that 
uh, dedicate themselves towards helping uh, poor children. So there's we, like a pitch process, oh, right? That's, oh, that's, it's a, there's a rigorous process. We want to make sure that we do things correctly. Now, what we do send are amazing medical equipment, dental operating rooms, sensorial equipment for children who have learning uh, disabilities or physical disabilities. It's amazing what we're able to do. I encourage everyone to visit our website and learn a little bit more about Let's put we that do. website up. If Jen Gross can probably, uh, put that website and keep it up for a little bit because I know that I've visited that website. It's very nicely well put together. It's Thank got you. Everything you might want to need there in terms of the, what you guys have done, how to help, and obviously information on uh, on the, the gala. So Correct. I want to ask you about that pin. That's right. Well, I brought this as a special gift yeah, yeah, we're gonna special do this for you. We're going to do this on but the this, air. Yes, this was a, a pin that we'd like to share with you, Alberto. Now, I know you're support. American too. So, absolutely, yes. So absolutely. You could, we could swap. So let's do that. Let's have the you're pin You're a proud swap. American too. I sure am. And I know you're a proud Ecuadorian uh, yeah, my, as well. Uh, full disclosure, my father's Cuban, my mother's from Ecuador, and I'm confused. But that's okay. <laughs> I'll put this Thank on. Thank you, Alberto. And now we've done the official on. swap. Yeah. Yeah. I'm afraid of dropping it. But don't worry. <laughs> we know you'll put it on. Thank so you. there it is. The uh, symbol of, of Ecuador. Perfect. Um, now, for those who've never been there, quickly, it's, it borders on Peru. It's like, tell me a little bit more about Ecuador. Yeah, you know, it's a it's a flight from Florida. It's right on the longitude, like you mentioned. Uh, it's sandwiched between Peru and Colombia. It's a, a beautiful. I country. think we have a map. It's a we place a where you can go and have a wonderful time. Uh, and uh, it, like I said, if you're into adventure, if you're into biodiversity, the Galapagos uh, if Islands, you're into right traveling off the coast. or traveling to the highlands or hiking or going to the rainforest. Um, Ecuador's tourism industry has grown tremendously, and there's many services, bilingual, uh, you know, you'll be taken care of. Good. Yep. All right. Well, I'll see you on uh, for the gala. Absolutely. I'll be thank there, you. Eddie. Thank you. Say hi to the family, thank, all the Crespos. Thank you so Sorry much. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right. Coming up next, an internationally renowned motivational speaker who is also a rabbi, a marriage counselor, and an author. You'll meet him next, right here on Urban Update.